Welcome back to my next video. This video is for the multi-gun match September 14th, 2019 at Rio Salada Sportsman's Club in Mesa, Arizona. Now this video is not going to be totally about the match itself and what I learned and didn't learn, although there will be some interjecting with that. It's more about what I learned or what I remembered, I should say, about taking care of yourself and knowing when you've reached your limit. So it's past the summertime at this point in September. And normally when I go out and run, I run in a long sleeve shirt to keep the sun off me. You know, I make sure I bring things to keep the heat, the sun off me and just be able to take care of myself. This time I did and I figured it was coming into monsoon season, I'd be fine. And I don't know if it was because of the higher humidity or just because I didn't take necessary precautions. Uh, that I ended up having a bit of trouble at this match. And some of my footage doesn't look all that slow, but remember it's at at least double speed, and some of it's even a little bit faster than that. With it at normal speed, it's just too horrendous to watch. So this is the first stage for us, and I was already kind of, it, it takes me an hour to get to this range. And after sitting in the car, getting out, and going through the shooters on that first stage, I was kind of not feeling very good. So here I let Brian, who is the person with the timer, I let him know I wasn't feeling that great. I was getting starting to get a little lightheaded, a little bit of a headache, uh, not feeling too great. So I ended up spending a lot of my time in the shade and drinking a lot of water. I, I definitely brought a lot of water with me. Uh, my rag that I have on my head, my shirt, I dunked everything in ice cold water do what I could, stay in the shade, didn't reset like as much as I'd like to, um, just to try to keep myself from having any type of heat related issues. But as it turns out, no matter what I did, it still didn't fully help me. So I didn't put my match results in because I was like third to last, which I was really low, but it's because it was too hot for me. And I ended up, this is the first time since I started running armor, which has only been a few times, but this is the first time I took off my armor in between stages. This stage, I was literally in the shade, straight back, like 30 feet, um, did not look at the stage once, so I ended up leaving a target um, not engaged because I didn't look at it at all. They kind of told me what to do as I got up there. Now here, because I knew I wasn't going to be doing very good, I sat and I paid attention to where I was hitting. I had them kind of calling the shots for me and I walked, you know, kind of like a grid pattern around the, uh, the target and the closest ones were about 70 yards and I had to hold high into the left, I mean, probably about a foot off. And then the further targets, I wanna say are at a 150 something in the mid hundreds, I believe. And I had to hold it a couple feet off into the upper left. Um, I definitely realized that the way I hold my gun when I zero it and the way I hold my gun in competition are two different ways and even though every time I check this red dot when I'm just at a static range it's dead perfect it's right on but when I'm out and I've zeroed it with armor without armor I've checked it rechecked it it's as far as I can tell it's holding zero but when I get out there in competition however I shoulder it it's not the same and it's completely off that's why in the first stage I missed a whole bunch a lot of the rifle shots I missed that were still far out the close-up paper not a problem I got that fine so that was what I learned for the match was my red dot I need to figure out what to do with that but the other thing was from the heat the sun uh, even though I was drinking water probably wearing the armor didn't help either um, I ended up getting dehydrated and having to take an ambulance ride to the emergency room where I pretty much spent the rest of my night unfortunately Here, I was about to leave, I took this video, and as soon as I did, I started feeling like crap. I uh, went and lay down, they called the paramedics. By the time the paramedics got there, I felt fine, so I decided to try to drive home. A couple miles, didn't feel good at all, started to lose my vision, pulled over, stopped, had somebody call paramedics for me again. Uh, had to go to the ER, stay there for quite a few hours. This is me getting back in the car to go home, and then once I finally get home, it's another hour or so because it is so far. I ended up, you know, round trip was 130 miles. Got home at 11.30 at night, left at seven o'clock in the morning or something. It was a long day, felt like garbage. 
I was just dehydrated. Even though, I mean, I drank at least 20 water bottles while I was out there. I stayed in the shade. I wet my shirt, my rag, kept it on me. I know that I have an issue with heat, but I, I need to look into it more and try to find a way not to get heat exhaustion again because it sucks. And the IV got put in in the ambulance, so it was a little rough. I didn't get any footage of being in the hospital. I felt like shit and I left my camera in the car. After I took off my bandage the next day, or maybe later that day, I don't remember, my arm was all bruised up and I don't ever bruise. So it took me a couple weeks to recover from that. I'm going to be doing more research into heat, exhaustion, dehydration, some items to take, some things to do to try to not have it happen again and thinking about doing a video series on it or just one video on what I find and see if it helps me at all. It's not going to be crazy scientific, it's just going to be something to do in my free time. The only silver lining from that day is that I won a $100 KE Arms gift card randomly, so that's cool. I'd like to thank KE Arms for sponsoring the match and along with all the other sponsors. As usual, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.